Hey everybody, Jamie here, Nomadic Rev, back with another quick video. Yes, this is my second video of the day. And just uh, getting some news here online that the stock market is down over 500 points and the NASDAQ has dropped 2.5%. Um, so this has a lot to do with the inflation numbers that came out in April. Uh, inflation speed, speeds up in April as consumer prices leap 4.2%, which is the fastest in they've gone up since 2008. Um, economists had been looking for an increase of 3.6. So 4.2 uh, is a lot higher than that. And so you may be wondering, well, what does that have to do with me or this video? Well, there's a lot of people... Um, who have been saying that this was coming. And the reason that they've been talking about this coming is because we have basically had our economy shut down for almost a year. Well, we've printed lots of money and sent it out to the masses. And unemployment um, continues to tick up and climb up. And so it's the kind of the perfect storm. This is really economics 101. And typically how you deal with inflation is the monetary policy requires that you raise interest rates. That's one of the strategies to dealing and, and holding down inflation. And as you can imagine, raising interest rates would have a big impact on the economy as a whole because it would um, increase people's credit line payments. It would increase, potentially increase people's mortgages depending on what kind they have. So this is kind of a big deal and it's probably something that you're going to want to watch and keep an eye on because um, one of the reasons that I started this channel was because I realized that our economy and our country um, basically is going in the wrong direction. And it's nobody's fault but ourselves because we have allowed ourselves to get into this situation and this predicament. And so one of the things that I have been doing, I have been working on, and I hope you are as well, is figuring out an alternative lifestyle to what is marketed to us as the American dream, which is, you know, going to college and taking on a lot of debt so you can get a good job that has average pay, that buying a house and cars and boats and campers and all that sort of stuff, basically becoming a slave to debt and, and then working your whole life to try and pay it off and save up a little bit of money so that, you know, at the end of your life, you have something to show for that. Well, that's not, you don't have to do that, right? There are other alternatives. There are other options out there. Choosing to live in a different way. Choosing to live as uh, a minimalist. Choosing to say, no, I'm not going to take on debt. I'm not going to live outside my means. I'm not going to live on um, more than I make. And it's really about, um, what Dave Ramsey talks about and whether you like him or not, he's right. Act your wage, act your wage. And so I really hope that you're paying attention to what's happening and you're making the necessary steps to prepare. Should there be a, uh, crash of our economy again this year um and the the real thing to consider is now how are you preparing for what's ahead so i uh, just wanted to share that quick video i'll put a link uh in the description of this video to the couple of the stories about this uh so you can read up on it as well but let me know what you think about what's happening in our economy um you think that we're in trouble and or the market's going to crash or you just think this is just a little bit of a hiccup if you like videos like this be sure to subscribe hit the like button and leave me a comment we'll see you in the next one